Uh, now I'd like to call to the stage Jennifer Laurie from Family and Children's Services, Waterloo Region uh, Foundation. This is Leo. He's two years old, and last week he was removed from his home. His mom, Claire, was struggling. There was little food in the house, and Leo was often alone while Claire slept, tired from working two jobs and parenting alone. The stress and exhaustion left Claire depressed, and one day she just simply couldn't get out of bed. Alone and hungry, Leo climbed onto the counter looking for some food, and he fell, breaking his arm. The hospital called Family and Children's Services. Claire needed inpatient treatment, and lacking family or friends who could care for Leo, Leo needed to go into foster care. Claire was distraught. She had been in foster care. This was not what she wanted for Leo. Well, it's not what we want either. We're Family and Children's Services Foundation, and since 1991, we've been committed to preventing child abuse and neglect. We raise the money that support prevention-focused uh, programs and services that keep kids like Leo safe and keep them where they belong, with their family. Every year, we connect with 3,000 individuals and families who need help caring for their children. In less than 4% of those situations are children removed from their home. But the majority of government funding is dedicated to this 4%, to protecting kids after something bad has already happened. But what about that other 96%? Where are the needed resources to prevent child abuse and neglect? Why are we waiting until something bad happens? Research shows that families and children benefit from prevention, but that's not where the funding is. You can change that today. We can make the upstream investment in those 3,000 individuals and families and prevent child abuse and neglect. If we do that, what does prevention-focused programs look like? Prevention is programs that foster attachment and connection in moms like Claire, who didn't have a loving parent and doesn't know how to be one. Prevention is giving kids like Leo the chance to just be a kid, to play a sport, to learn a musical instrument, or to take an art class. While kids have fun, they build confidence, create a community and belonging, and develop resilience. Prevention requires community, our community, to ensure that families have the skills and support that they need to break the cycle of intergenerational trauma. Prevention makes sense. It results in better outcomes for kids and families, and do you know what else? It costs 25 times less than waiting until the worst has happened. In other words, we can invest $3,000 in a community-based program that would help Claire bond with Leo and become the kind of parent that she wants to be. Or we could spend $75,000 and take Leo away from his mom. It takes a village to raise a child. That's likely something you've heard many times before. But your choice tonight is not just about making a donation. Your choice tonight is about investing in the next generation in our community to choose to be part of the village, to make sure the programs and services are available so that Claire can heal, and that kids like Leo have what every kid deserves, the chance to grow up in their community with their family. So let's stop waiting for something bad to happen. Give today. Make something good happen. <laughs>